Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an invoice using PowerPoint. Now you can see here that I've created a new PowerPoint presentation, which is called invoice.pptx, right? And here I'm going to create the new invoice. Now, first of all, I'm going to arrange this PowerPoint presentation in such a way that uh, it looks good for our invoice. So I'm going to change the slide size. I'm going to select a standard 4 is to 3 slide and uh, click on maximize. Now I'm going to again go to custom slide size and here I'm going to click portrait and uh, select OK and again maximize. So this is going to be my invoice size. Okay, you can uh, have it on different sizes, whatever you feel like. Now I'm going to add a new blank slide to this. I'll uh, click on new slide and click on blank and I got a blank slide. Now I need a template to reproduce on this PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so let me go to Google and search for invoice templates. So here we are on Google and here I'm searching invoice template. Okay. And uh, I'm interested to see the images. So click on images. Now here you can see there are a lot of uh, inverse templates which you can use to reproduce on your PowerPoint. Okay. Now this one looks good. This also looks good. However, let's just uh, open one of them and see the fields that we're going to use in our invoice. So let's open this one looking good. So here you have this invoice. I want this to be in the middle and then company information here, then invoice information here. This is going to change with each invoice that you send out. Then it is the client information, bill to whom you are going to bill. And here you can put the description of your services that you are providing. Okay. And also the amount here, some information about tax, the total amount, and here there's a field where you can insert a comment if you want to write something. And uh, here below there is some contact information and a message. And that's all. So let's keep this as a template or a benchmark and start designing our template. So we'll go to PowerPoint. All right. Now here I'm going to start with the word invoice. I'm going to write invoice. Now you can see that it is taking the default uh, text, okay, whatever is there, default fonts, and also the default colors. I don't want that. I want to use my own colors. So I'll go to design and uh, under variants, I'll go to colors and I'll select this red orange combination, okay. Again, I'll go to variants and I'll go to fonts this time and I'll select this railway black whatever custom uh, options or custom set that I have created earlier right so with that I'm done and uh, this invoice I want to have it as railway black so it will be black and uh, I'll change its case to uppercase like that I'll make it a little bigger in size okay and uh, that's it we'll keep it on the top of the page and I'll middle it. To middle it, you can go to shape format, go to align and select distribute horizontally. Okay, I have a shortcut here for that. So I can click this for distributing horizontally and this one for distributing vertically. Okay. All right. So that is the inverse. Next, I'm going to put my company name. For that, I'll put uh, one more text box and here I'll write the Indian freelancer. Okay. This uh, sizes can be changed later on as well. For now, I'm just uh, putting the content and slowly I'll put the sizes as well. So I'll make it bold. It doesn't change too much. So I'll go and make it really black. Okay. And then below that, I'll put the address. Okay. So for this video, I'm going to just put a dummy address here. Like if I say 
elect electronic city okay phase one this is not exactly a dummy address but then this is what I'm going to use Bangalore India and I'll put the pin code which is five six zero one zero zero okay and this size of this text will be a little smaller we'll make it probably 16 and I'll leave it like that okay all right then on this side I'm going to put the inverse information so let's see our template what all information we need so in this template here you can see that we have date inverse number customer ID and due date so all these four are important fields so we'll have all these four so we'll have a date an inverse number customer id and due date okay so first of all let's come back to our powerpoint here i'm going to put a small table which is not available here so for table i need to go to insert and from here i need a table so i'll click on table i'll have two rows and I need sorry I need two columns and four rows okay and uh, here I'll say no header rows I do not need a header row and uh, for the styles I'll just uh, make it like this okay simple one and also the text I'll change it to maybe 12 okay and then I'll pull it this side and I'll place it here on the corner okay so here on the corner I'll pull it a little bit this way okay so the first thing was sorry it should be this way I need the field to be longer more okay so here I'll put date, then I'll put due date, then I'll put invoice number like that and then customer ID. Okay. Like that. Okay. So this is done. I don't want this, uh, this borders to be that heavy so I'll go to table design and I'll go to borders I'll just say no borders from here okay I'll select the entire thing and I'll click on no borders so you can see there are no borders borders are not visible borders are there obviously but they're not visible only I know in the in the editable format that there is a border but uh, when I print this out or I save it as a PDF I'll not see the border okay so this part is done the next part is the customer info so I'll write the customer info here I'll uh, have a label okay have a label like this pull it till here and here I'll say billing information even though in our template it was written build to okay let's go to the template and see what is written exactly here you can see it's written bill 2 okay but I have written there billing information you can write anything you want to based on your requirements so I'm going to write billing information then I need name of the customer company name street address city and phone so let's put this uh, this information there now to save time I'll just copy this table that I already have and then I'll paste the table here make it duplicate and then I'll pull it okay however you know that we need one more row for this so I'll go to layout and insert a row below okay so for the design purpose let's have the table designed as like this so let's input the information we need Let's see what is there in the template. It's name, company name, street address, city, and phone. So name, 
then company name then street address then city and then phone so we'll change this a little bit and drag it like that and make this one little longer we'll probably use the enter space okay like that fine and this part will actually keep the borders for this part will keep the borders okay now we can do one more thing we can actually shade this part a little bit you can go to shade click on this one of these colors whatever you like I like I like this one so I'll put this okay so that is the billing information maybe a little bit more okay like that next we have the services description let's see our template okay so you can see there is a table where there are three columns description tax and amount and there are number of rows so let's go back and uh, insert this table so here we need one more table and we can actually copy this table the same one and uh, duplicate it or we can create a new one let's create a new one so we'll go to insert again click on tables and we'll have maybe eight columns that should be doing enough and we'll have uh, one more three four four columns okay so let's see what are those four columns and uh, this table is going to be going to have different colors like this okay and then I'm going to home then the table is already selected I'm going to make the font size as 14 okay all right now let's see what are the different uh, columns the first one is serial number I want to put a serial number for all the tasks or services that uh, I want to put in the in the invoice okay then is description okay and then here I want to put uh, the quantity sometimes we need quantity as well so I'll make it a little smaller and here then I'll write price okay so I'll make this smaller as well price and quantity we need to adjust it so that it accommodates the size or length of the text okay so this is done so this is where we're going to write our content okay all right now here at the end we need to have the taxing information now if you see the template that we're using okay here you can see that there's a field for tax but we're not going to use this field okay if you want you can have it but for this video I'm not going to use this field I'm going to put the tax here itself directly okay so there'll be subtotal tax and uh, something like other and then a total okay so let's go back to our PowerPoint now here I'm going to copy this small table and I'll paste it again and then drag it here here I'm going to go to table design and uh, select this option this style so that I can see okay now let's see the things so the first thing that uh, sorry the first option here should be subtotal okay and then we have taxes then we have no taxes should be at the end actually so taxes here we should have other if you want to add something else to this and then at the end we'll have total okay so let's arrange this to match the column size like this okay now you can see that uh, everything is going down I need little space here so I'll select all this and I'll pull them little 
upwards like that okay other thing that I want to do is I want to reduce the size of the font here a little more like this and then pull it to match this table so that it looks a little good right a little better all right this is fine I think since all these are having some kind of borders let's have this also with the border so I'll click on this okay and maybe we need a little bit of room here let's see if I have to put it full date like uh, 2nd March 2021 so you can see it is not coming up completely so we'll drag it to this side and this little. so you need to adjust a little bit so that you can uh, insert the entire content okay like that okay so this is how it will look now the one thing which is left is here the comment section we will put a comment section here we'll just copy this first and uh, paste it and then bring it here okay here we'll write comment okay and then uh, probably we'll extend this till somewhere here okay and then control D I'll make one more copy of it then I'll pull it till here okay and uh, the alignment would be from top and I'm going to change the shape field to either white or a little colored here like that and then that color of the text would be black okay I'll leave that empty for now like that okay so this is done and at the very end I'm going to put a message so I'll use the text box and uh, I'll say thank you for doing business with us okay then I'll reduce the size a little bit and bring it to the center and then make it italics that's it so this is how our invoice will look after it's built okay now on, only one thing that I can see here is that this color is not matching with this one so I'll just uh, go there go to the table design from here and to change it but if I change it the header color is going to change so uh, I'm going to do the other way I'm going to select this one and uh, change the shading to match with our table here like that okay now everything is matching except the border color so here I'll select black okay now everything is matching here like right? so this is our inverse template which you have created completely using PowerPoint if you want you can insert other important uh, information here as well and uh, you can make it longer you can make it shorter you can probably reduce the number of rows that we have here uh, to have more space and uh, change the design according to your requirements so I hope you liked what we have learned in this video thanks a lot for watching I'll see you in the next one